All right, as we're looking at the uh, home screen as you just logged in, we see the three boxes in the middle of the screen. We have uh, the repair, that is all of the OE factory direct uh, repair information uh, that all data is known for. Community is a database of over 100,000 questions of suggested and verified repairs. And there is also a quote tool that allows you to build a basic quote uh, with labor times and parts on there uh, to distribute to your customers. Uh, it also can tie in with your AutoZone account to be able to pull uh, parts from there. So as we go in, I'm gonna click on the repair, and the first thing we need to do is to select the vehicle. Down the right-hand side, you had the last uh, several vehicles that uh, we've looked up in the past. We can drill down to the year, make, and model to find our engine combinations, or in the search bar, type in your VIN number of the vehicle, or type, on, type in what you're working on. So if we're working on a 2011 Ford F-150, that will bring all your engine packages down below to select. And if we want to give it a little bit more information, let's say it is a four-wheel drive truck, that will eliminate more, giving us the four engine combinations for that year. Let's go ahead and select the uh, 6.2 liter. And now we're in the, the meat of the uh, information on this Ford F-150. Uh, some navigation tips around the screen uh, in the upper left, if you need to go look up a new vehicle, you have the change vehicle button. Bookmarks, a great tool to utilize. Uh, so as you're working on multiple vehicles at one time, uh, you can bookmark the page that you're on to save it. So as you're going uh, out to a different vehicle, you don't have to drill back down to uh, the vehicle you're going back to. Uh, library request, uh, great tool there, it's just uh, backup. So if for any reason you can't find what you're looking for, I recommend a uh, three to four minute rule. If you can't find it within that time, have your uh, team stop, select the uh, library request button, there's a quick form. You just simply tell us what you need and we'll get you that information back to you uh, very quickly. Another awesome tool that All Data has put into the All Data Repair solution is the conversion calculator. Uh, just it simply just helps you with your uh, math to convert torque uh, from foot pound to inch pound, inches to millimeters, etc. And the other thing that I recommend every time you pull up a vehicle. Uh, is to go into the community right below the search bar. Within that community, those are where technicians have posted questions, uh, challenges that they've had. Maybe you're working on the same uh, issue uh, that where you may be able to find a verified or suggested fix right there and save your diagnostic time. Now, as we get into the uh, information around this Ford F-150, under the popular information header, we've assembled popular information that technicians use all the time. From a listing of all of the uh, diagnostic trouble codes, you can drill down uh, through those and find the information you're looking for that way. The service tables uh, give you a great way to drive some additional revenue as you're able to uh, provide the customer with detailed information of what the manufacturer recommends at the different mileage intervals. TSB is always a great resource to look. You may find uh, some updates uh, that, say, Ford put out in this case um, that would be beneficial to you on uh, different things. And the diagrams, these are uh, a great tool. We've always had the OE diagrams uh, for as long as all data has been around, but recently we've added the interactive color wiring diagrams. I'm going to click into the diagrams. And now under the diagram header, we also, beyond the diagrams, you also have your exploded views uh, in there that could be very beneficial. Okay, let's explore the interactive color wiring diagrams. So as we uh, click into the diagram listing, it'll give us a drop down of all the available diagrams uh, in interactive mode. And let's go in and select uh, instrument cluster. Now, at this point, we're just looking at them as a visual, nice, clean color uh, diagrams, but as we click onto one of these, it takes us into the uh, multi-page view in interactive mode. At this point, we're able to, we can zoom in, slide around the diagram, zoom out. 
And as we're drilling down and uh, locating the wire that uh, we're going to be working on, to you, you can isolate that simply by clicking on that wire. And the nice thing is it's going to uh, uh, highlight all the way across the multiple pages. It doesn't matter if it's a two-page, three-page, four-page. It's going to uh, do that for you. And also you're able to isolate and highlight the components as well. When you have a really busy diagram, you're able to, down at the bottom, hide the wires. So any wires that you have not uh, highlighted will dim out uh, cleaning up that diagram for you. I'm going to close that out and go back to our main vehicle page. Now, easy ways to find information, uh, there's three easy ways that I like to use, um, is going directly through the parts and labor. So we go click on parts and labor. We have a nice large list of all the components uh, in that vehicle, but we're going to utilize that uh, search bar. And let's uh, look up a water pump. So we're having to uh, replace that for a customer. So as we search that out, uh, we click on water pump. Because we went uh, for parts and labor, that's what we're getting. We're getting the OEM part number with the national average dealership retail price um, for reference. And it's recommending that a B-level tech should be able to get that job done in about 1.1 hour. Now, since we ask for this information, to the right you have all the related information. So the system is saying that if you looked up the parts and labor, you're probably going to need information such as the service and repair procedure. So we're just one more click away, and now we have the step-by-step uh, -step from Ford on the removal and replacement of the water pump. Any additional information you need, if you need the uh, mechanical specifications for your bolts, you're just one click away if they happen not to be in that article. And also if there happens to be a technical service bulletin, you can explore that and see that Ford did have a TSB regarding the water pumps. So just within a few clicks, you're able to get all of that information. I'm gonna go back to the main vehicle page and utilize the search bar. Now if we uh, start typing in water pump into the search bar, we're going to get uh, results uh, with the same uh, colorful symbols to uh, indicate the different uh, sections, such as the parts and labor, service and rep repair. If I click on the coolant pump slash water pump from service and repair, it's going to take us right back to the article we were uh, just at for that procedure and all of that related information is uh, in the right, uh, just like before, giving you easy access to it. Now heading back to the main vehicle page, uh, some quick reference material that a lot of shops use uh, on a daily basis, you can find under the maintenance tab, such as uh, fluids. Uh, always wanna double check uh, the types and capacities uh, for that oil change, so uh, we can drill right down to that, so from our, um, engine oil and then find the types and capacities and that's going to give us that uh, the uh, 5w20 that ford recommends for this engine and at the bottom you'll find the uh, capacity of the 6.6 .6 liter or seven quarts okay exploring another way of finding information is drilling down through the system and components in the middle stack so let's say we're doing a, a front brake job on this uh, Ford. We'll simply go into that category, the brakes and traction control. And as we click into that, now we're into all of the components of that uh, brake system. And as we continue to drill down to, to the disc brake systems, now we have all the components to that system as well. And let's go into the brake pads. Now, just like with the water pump previously, you have the different categories on here and we're right back there so we now we can find the parts and labor article uh, for that again with the oe parts and national average price and the recommended labor times for the different components on the brakes as well as that related information uh, such as the removal and replacement and we're just going to continue to drill down to get to where we're going and now we have the procedure for the removal and replacement of the brake pads again uh, mechanical specifications and any tsbs that are related the related information list may be longer or shorter depending on uh, what you're working on